Welcome to an attempt. Welcome to an attempt. What's up, Dengar Renegade? Don't die, Dan. That's the whole idea. You got it. You got it without me having to say anything. You got it. The spirit of the night is that. Not dying. <clears throat> What's up, Giovanni? So, I'm starting a little late, so I don't have a lot of time. So, let's just go. Castlevania for the NES. No death. So, the rules are simple. The rules are no deaths. That's it. If I die, I have to reset the game. Simple as that. Make your bets. <clears throat> Make your bets! And didn't say anything about death in real life, though. Zero deaths. I did that once in my life. But I wasn't streaming. I don't have it on camera. So pretty much. Pretty much didn't happen. Right? Those are the rules. Are those the rules that you guys hold me up to? So here we go. I'm doing it. Live. On camera. For you. Just for you. Are you happy? I hope yes. Francis! Starting the night with a red super chat already. A hundy! What the hell? I'll be with you in a minute, Francis. Come on. Zero death. I mean, zero damage. Francis for 100 Australian says, You got this, damn the man! And she said it in all caps. She must really mean it. Hey, what's up, can man? The man with a can. The man who's so positive that can is his name. Isn't that right? Now that can man is here, I feel that I can do this. <laughs> Isn't that right? <clears throat> so are you guys tired of me playing Castlevania yet? No? Good. I, I, I know you guys never get tired of Castlevania. It's one of the best games ever made. Right? <clears throat> Can do, that's right. That one's a knife. I don't want no knives. Good run so far. Nothing bad happened. Uh. Sophia for 1999 says nothing. Just slides a 20 inside my pants, smacks my ass and says nothing. Thank you. Thank you. 
Just in, in, in the interest of full disclosure, I practice a little bit. I practice a little bit during the week, but I didn't manage to do it not a single time. So <clears throat> if I manage to do it a, for a second time in my life, it's going to be here now, tonight. Oh shit, Wanda Davis, welcome to Vascular. Cynthia Peterson, member for nine months, love Castlevania. That makes two of us, Cynthia, thank you. <clears throat> I should make a point to only interrupt the game uh, between stages because right now it's easy. Right now the game is pretty much easy, those first couple of stages, but later on i'll need to concentrate so i think i'll i think i'll interrupt the game i'll make a rule to only interrupt the game between stages mental note <clears throat> okay perfect round so far making excuses already what excuses no, no excuses here. If I die, I die. If he dies, he dies. Magic potion. This game has really great music, doesn't it? Nostradam! I can predict the future. Nostradam! Nostradam! Oh! Nostradam. Nostradam! Ooh, I see super chats incoming. I'll be with you guys in a moment. Jump to your death! There you go. This is the third stage. It can be a very hard stage if you don't know what you're doing. Thank you for you. <laughs> I do know what I'm doing. Very well. Nostradam! Feel the power of Nostradam. Nostradam! Nostradam! No! No! The boomerang makes this part of the stage really... I shouldn't say easy, but less hard. Mosquito. Dead. Look at this run. Perfect run so far. Perfect. Just like me. Yeah. Perfect run on Castlevania being done by a perfect man. How many times in your life do you have the opportunity to witness that? Never! And a very humble man too. Yes! Let's see. Wanda Davis for 50 says nothing. These crazy people watching my stream sending me money without saying nothing. Thank you so much. Is it Wanda or Wanda? I, I guess it depends if you're German. Thank you. 
And we have Christine for $9.99 says, hey, hope the game is going well. It is so far. Perfect run so far. EDB for 119 Those are Norwegian. I'm going to say Norwegian pesos. Don't lie, Dan. You have, you have been training on this game the last week every day. Uh, I didn't lie. I, I stated precisely that. Well, I guess not precisely that. I didn't say every day. But it was, I played like 20 minutes every single day. That's, those are the best types of, of practices. Like short, but constant. So, there you go. Deflect, 1-5 for 20. It says, this is modern gaming for Brazilians. Love your Nightwish covers. Good luck, you got this. Believe in yourself. Have faith. Patience is a virtue. I hope you failed while reading the Super Chat. Wow. I was, I was about to compliment you. Wow. Such a positive Super Chat. But hey. Thank you. All right. Let us continue. This is where the game starts getting really hard. Mm. <sighs> Gotta focus here. <clears throat> Stupid bats. They're gonna show. I knew it. Stupid bat. Fucking bat! It's always the fucking bats. Here we go. It's all about patience. Come on, come on, come on. We're about to meet. The Eagles. This part reminds me a lot of the rings because it's the Eagles dropping the crackhead Frodo's. Crackhead Frodo. Crackhead Frodo. Crackhead Frodo. Crackhead Frodo. Crack. Head Frodo. Crackhead Frodo. Frodo crackhead. Crackhead Frodo. Ah! I hate when the crackhead Frodo's come at me from behind. Don't clip this, Giovanni. <clears throat> oh my god. <sighs> Perfect run so far. It's not like I have any other choice, do I? It has to be perfect. Everything has to be perfect. Just like me. Oh my god! I need this. That was really unconventional, but hey, I'll take it. Okay. Now I have the crackhead Frodo humping poor Frankenstein's head. We're gonna get getting rid of his misery. Look, look, look what he's doing. He's humping the back of his neck. That's probably not pleasant. Or, or is it? I don't know. I wouldn't be able to tell. Okay, here we go. Christy says, my first time watching a live stream for 20. Thank you so much, Christy. And I'm honored. That you're losing your live stream virginity with me. Hey. Now I can say you lost your virginity with Dan Vasque. How cool is that? Justin Martins. Gifted five Super Vast 3D memberships. That's very kind of you, Justin. Thank you so much. Now thanks. If you got a, if you got a membership from, from Justin. Make sure you show him your appreciation. Sophia for, Sophia for 20, love to watch you, Dan. You are so funny and entertaining. Thank you so much, Sophia. <clears throat> Susan Southard for 10 says, good luck on the game. You got this. Thank you. Thank you. A very positive chat here tonight. Indeed. Look at Devon with the... 
Is it Devon or Devon? Uh, I always see you on, on Twitter, but I don't know how to pronounce your name. Corn of the Barbarians in my chat. He says, Crom. Look at the big PP emojis. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Cherry, member for nine months. So happy to see this today. Missed the live stream last week. Oh, now, now here we go. Molly's mom for, for two. I'm team, I'm team Geo. Geo, clip all the mistakes. No, don't do it. But he will do it anyway. Uh, wow. I whipped two crackhead Frodo's at once. Look at me. Gah. I don't want to get boned. Crackhead Frodo! Oh. F gah, gah. What? I'm overwhelmed by crackhead Frodo's! Uh, don't respond. Don't respond. Don't respond. Don't. Come into my holy water. <clears throat> now you're down there and there's nothing you can do. Oh, oh, ah, ooh, yeah. Die. Ba da da ba da da ba ba. Ba da 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 ba da. Crackhead throw. Crackhead throw. Holy water is their only weakness. Just kidding. They're pretty weak for to everything. Just whip their asses. So any Castlevania veterans? Over here. <clears throat> you guys must be thinking, oh, he's skipping a bunch of secrets. I don't care about the secrets right now. Secrets don't do me any good. Shout out to the NES kids out there. You were very happy. Ah, not falling for the same mistake twice. There's an axe on that candle. Come over here. You red immortal bitch. <clears throat> I got someone in the comments the other day complaining that about my swearing while playing video games. Imagine that. Imagine swearing while playing video games. I, I, it's indeed. I'm I'm such a such a degenerate. Imagine a man. A male of the human species swearing while playing video games. Unheard of! And to that person, I say, I am sorry as fuck. Please forgive the fuck out of me. <clears throat> Forgive the fuck out of me! <laughs> Next time you do something wrong and you go apologize to the person, say this. Please! Forgive the fuck out of me! Don't just forgive me! Forgive the fuck out of me! That's a lot of forgiveness. Isn't it? Will you forgive the fuck out of me? Ah! It's okay. No! Go away! The 
famous holy water trick. Haha, <laughs> who's laughing now? Let's see what we have here. Pronounced like Devon. Devon? Devon. But spell like Devon. Devon. I'll try to remember that. Devon for one ninety nine. Thank you. Tracy Geyer, welcome to Vascular. Cheryl for twenty five bucks. Just wanna thank you for your amazing music. I have a great ten vast workout play playlist. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for the twenty five and thank you for the kind words. Celluloid Dream for one ninety nine says swearing is gay. Dan, you. you So I dream, I've heard you, you swear plenty of times, okay? Don't give me that. Don't give me that now. <clears throat> Isaac, have you ever played Ramble on the NES? No, I haven't, but I didn't hear good things about it. Would you disagree? Do you think it's good? Marie Keegan, welcome to Vascular. All right. Last stage. This stage is the hardest because no matter how how much you practice for it, uh, there's a there's there's a certain randomness to it. There's a random element to this stage, like the for example the bats that we're about to meet in this bridge, on this bridge. It's like sometimes they do a certain movement, but sometimes they don't. So this stage is the hardest because there's a little bit of luck involved, which is unfortunate. Okay. Go away, go away, go away. I have one use of the, of the clock. That, that clock is very precious. I'm drooling. That clock, that, that watch, whatever it is, is very important to me right now. My precious. Oh, ah, ah, ah. I, need, I need at least one more use of it. I need that heart. Yes. Okay, here we go. Okay, three uses. Here we go. This is promising. This is really promising, guys. Get out of here. No, no. Imagine if I do this on the first try. Oh God, we have a 50 from Randy. Randy Jenny, just now tuning in. Want to give a shout out to Shen Bonds, aka the saxophone guy from the FNT Vegas meetup. Oh, I saw the videos. That guy's amazing. Who's now the third collab par partner I have for my channel. Thanks again, Dan, for introducing me to the fellowship. I love you all so much. We love you back, Randy. Thank you so much for the 50. That's crazy. Nice. Deflect, deflect 15 for 20. It is funny. 
because the other stream I am watching Escape from Tarkov, the contrast between the two games tickles me. It tickles you? One game has horrible blood-sucking enemy parasites and rats. The other is Castlevania. Oh. Interesting. Justin Martins for five. First time catching your live stream. Too bad I've already done my taxes. Could could, could could have put it down as charity. Is that a thing in the United States? That's interesting. Cool. Thank you, Justin. Devon. See, I remembered. Intelligent people swear regularly. It's science. Well, if you say it's science, I trust the science. Cheryl, for five, you don't really swear. You just use creative English, LOL. Wise words. Uh, Terry, for 10. Glad to see you are back on your super vast 3D gaming channel. I always enjoy these. I'm glad. I'm glad you, you enjoyed it. <sighs> Let us fight Dracula. <clears throat> Pray for me. I remember when, when I was a kid, I used to literally, literally pray, pray to God. Imagine the pro the the how uh, how, how many problems a a, a a six year old kid has like zero. So what are you gonna pray about? You're gonna pray to God so he helps you beat Bowser in Super Mario World. That's obviously the stuff that you're gonna pray about. I see your super chats in the corner of my eye. It's distracting me. That doesn't mean you need to stop, though. Send all the super chats you want. Your boy Dan Vask needs a Lamborghini. Why? Well, everyone needs a Lamborghini. It's just basic human rights, you know? No! The penitent man shall pass! The penitent! Asshole. No, the Penton. No, 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 no. I was so close to doing it live. Look, you wicked, wicked virtues here. How are you, Amanda? Elfie one 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 for fifty euros. Damn. Says hi, Dan. Hi. Hanging out with you after work while playing is great. I listen to your music in the car on the way to my patients. A Sunday couldn't be better. Thank you for an epic greetings from Germany. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry you died. Yeah. Could you imagine if I had done it like on a first attempt? That would be a, a, a quick stream. 
How how quick that was. Thirty minutes. But I'm a man of my word. <clears throat> I may not do it, by the way. I don't have unlimited time. I may fail spectacularly and not do it at all. At least tonight. So, that's a possibility. I did it on purpose, by the way. I lost on purpose. Why? Because of you. You think I would give you a 30 minute live stream? You think I would be capable of doing that to you? I would never do that to you. So I lost on purpose. I died on purpose out of my love for you. You are welcome. Ain't I such a great guy? Praise me. Make sure you tell your friends. Well, Dan Vask, that YouTuber I watch, such a great guy. Such a great guy, such a great guy, great guy. Such a great guy, such a great guy, great guy, such a great guy. Such a great guy, such a great guy, such a great guy. Give me Dracula's ball. Vingelot won for 10 euros. First time here and enjoy enjoying you playing. Lots of fun and thanks for your epic covers. Greeting from Germany. Thank you so much. Mary Beth for 1.99. Hi Dan, always always enjoy your game playing. Thank you. What is what is Amanda laughing about? She la she laughing at me or with me? I think she's laughing with me. Randy Jenny for 20. Him and I could collab on the Whitney Houston version of I Will Always Love You. That's right. It has a, a cool, a cool saxophone solo, right? By the way, shame on you for not knowing that song was first written and sung by Dolly Parton. I actually didn't know that. Interesting. Every singer should know this. You disgrace me. Well, now I know. Thank you. Joined late. Who's a great guy? Says Marcia Schindler for 10. Uh, that would be me, Marcia. There's an ant exactly on my camera. There you go. You're safe now. Yep. Second stage.
things that interest me in this run. Uh, hearts. That's it. I don't care about treasures. I don't care about ex extra lives because treasures are just about the extra lives. Every 20,000 points, I believe, you get an extra life. And I have no use for extra lives because I can't die. The multipliers are also good. The weapon multiplier. Oh, I almost got that by accident. And it wouldn't be that bad. No, it would be. It would be bad for the for the next stage after this one. <clears throat> oh, look at that slow down. I used to think that was like that was the the video game telling me that what I was doing was too amazing, like too awesome, and it had to be in slow motion, like a movie. Am I kidding? I'm, I still think that. Why shouldn't I? Medusa! Die! Balls! Donut Hall for five. You are forgiven for not knowing about Donny Parton, since you don't like count country music. It's not that I don't. It's not a, that I dislike it. To me, not liking it and disliking it are different things. And I don't dislike it. I just don't like it. You know? Does it make sense to you? I have nothing against it. Nostradam. Oh, ho, ho, did you guys see that? Now that sort of shit, Giovanni won clip. The ruffian. He only clips things that make me look like an idiot. Where's Giovanni? Say something for yourself. He says, nope. <laughs> is, that, is that your defense? That's what you have to say? He says, nope. Nostradam. Oh! Nostradam. Without the boomerang, this part of the game is extremely hard. It's not impossible. It's very hard. Especially that previous screen. Not impossible. Not impossible though. An interesting relax. Can't speak today. An interesting challenge in this game is also I, I've seen other people doing it. I've seen Mike Matei doing it. Is a uh, no weapons run. That means I can only use the whip. 
Castlevania run with only the whip. Give me the whip. Give me the whip, no time to argue. Where's that from? Throw me the whip. Throw me the whip, no time to argue. If you can tell me where's that from, you win a brand new nothing. Phoenix of Rise for $4.99 says nothing. Slips it into my pants, smacks my ass, and leaves. Leaving me humiliated. But five bucks richer. Thank you. That goes straight to the to Dan's Lamborghini fund. Gah! Ah! I'm just kidding about the Lamborghini, by the way. Kind of. Ah! Ah! That's the Lord of the Rings part. Frodo! Crackhead Frodo! Gandalf! Frodo! Oh, the Frodo's are coming from behind! Stop! Ah! No! I'm sitting too close to the TV. It's gonna hurt your eyes, Sonny. There we go. <clears throat> now Frodo humping Frankenstein's neck. There we go. Let's put him out of his misery. Look. Without seeing. I don't even need to see. How do you like that? Oh, it's done. Sorry. <clears throat> Any updates on the Man Bun song? Uh, Gary needs to send it to me. Gary didn't send it to me yet. Randy Janini for another 20. Thank you, Randy. The first song to ever use the sort of guitar was a country song called Don't Worry by Marty, Marty Robbins. Which was due to a faulty wire in the soundboard. If it wasn't for that song, today's rock and heavy metal wouldn't exist. See? You even get a little piece of history lessons here in my chat. How cool is that? Susan Southard, Garth Brooks. Standing outside shows fire would make a great would make great at a heavy metal cover. Check it out. It's not your normal country song. Oh, interesting. Interesting. That was close.
Doing well. So do you guys ever attempt some cool challenges for for the games you enjoy like that? It's so like sometimes you play a game so much. Oh, I don't want that. I definitely don't want this. Go away. Sometimes you play a game so many times that you need to spice it up a little. I think another game, let me try to think. Another game I could pull out a no death run would probably be Super Mario World. <clears throat> With shortcuts though. With the Star World shortcut. It's not Star World, it's Star Road. I keep saying Star World. I say Star World since I was a kid. Old habits die hard. Come here. Thank you. Now die. Something I need a lot in the stage is ammo. AKA hearts. It's crazy. It, it, it was always weird to me that in this game hearts are not your health but your ammo guess everybody found that strange and your health are pieces of pork chop hidden inside walls Imagine being Dracula's architect or something. Say, hey, this wall here needs a pork chop. Here we go. Oh, that, that was my bad. I could totally have avoided that. Ah! That was closer than it should have been. <clears throat> Alright, this second attempt is going... Very well. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Sandy for five. Thank you, Dan, for all your amazing cover songs. Can't wait for the next new release. Thank you, Sandy. JLV Gnome for two. When you'll be dropping the Metal Bon Jovi soon, Mr. Gnome. Very soon. Marcia Schindler for, for 10. A Lamborghini is a car that men buy to cover inadequacies in other areas. Dan, it seems highly unlikely. How do you know it's unlikely? Can you tell? Just by looking at a man's face. Oh, there's... Uh, yeah, chicks say that, like... They can tell the size of a man's pee-pee by their hands. I've heard 
women saying that. Is it true, women in my chat? Can you guys tell? What can you guys tell me about my genitals by looking at my hand? Is that scientific? I bet it's not. If you keep screaming like that, the woman with the little peepee next door will call the police. She moved out, Giovanni. She moved out. So the, the, the story behind that is, is that... I don't know if my neighbors speak English, so I, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna whisper it. There was a, a woman living next door to me that she, she had the voice of a pirate. She sounded like a male pirate. And, and then one, one day, one of my friends came over and, and he, he slept over and he, he heard her. And he said, oh, it's a woman with a little pee-pee. <laughs> and then that became her name henceforth. But she moved out. Yeah, Giovanni, she moved out. After a long time, the woman with a little pee-pee, the woman with the little pee-pee moved out. The end of an era. I don't know if Giovanni met her or heard her because she, she used to speak loud. I don't believe this. That's what I'm talking about in this stage. Last time that fireball was nowhere to be seen. Now all of a sudden there's a fireball running after me. That last stage is very random. That's the, the difficulty of it. <clears throat> is it hot in here? better Dan is in his undies? So what? I'm in my house. I'm in my home. Devon? Your name is very close to Devil. Coincidence? I don't think so. Dan is warm despite his underwear. Welcome to my life. Welcome to Brazil. Twenty, with this little dancing thing, saying you are amazing. No, you are amazing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Dan is marked safe from the woman with the little peepee. -pee. <laughs> yes, marked safe. You can mark me safe. I was so glad that she moved out. She was a terrible neighbor. And, and a bit crazy too. She was a bit crazy. Now other than that, I have a very good relationship with all my neighbors. Which is a very good thing. It is never recommended to have a bad relationship with your neighbors. It's not a smart thing at all to have a bad relationship with your neighbors because your neighbors are there when you are not. When you're away from your home, you can choose to have an enemy there or a friend. Or at least someone neutral. So you can choose to swallow your ego sometimes, even when you know you're right. To the benefit of not having an enemy living beside you. You gotta swallow some frogs sometimes. You got, do you guys in the United States have that expression? Swallow a frog? I, I feel that's... That's something only a Brazilian would say. It means... When you say, oh, I'm gonna swallow a frog. It means... <laughs> it means I'm gonna swallow my ego. And someone says, I swallow no frogs. In Portuguese, obviously. They're saying basically, uh, I take no shit. Which is also a funny expression. I take no shit. We don't have that in Portuguese. I take no shit. It's funny to, to compare compare the, the expressions in in certain languages. You know, I was thinking about that the other day. Uh, in Portuguese, in Brazilian Portuguese, when you want to say that you did something that was very, very lucky, that you were very lucky. For example, let, let's say I, I, I beat this game without deaths on the first try. It was very lucky. I would say in Portuguese, that was a huge dump. <laughs> so when you do something that... Uh, when, when you get very lucky... And you do something that the likelihood of you doing it again is very little... You say, oh... I just took this huge dump. That was a huge dump. Oh man, that was such a huge dump! That mm, in Brazil means, oh, you you did something really amazing that you're never going to do again. And you were very lucky to do it. Hey, what's up, Dr. Rachel? That's right. I'm trying to beat this game without deaths. I already had to reset like two or three, two or three times. Oh, damn, we have a 50 from Teresa Martin. 50. And just to, just to be able to, to, to say she wasn't completely in silence, in the message, he says, she says 50. There you go. Marie Keegan also for 50. Also say nothing. She doesn't even say it says 50. Oh, there's a pretty emoji. Oh, nice. Uh, oh man, I still have those. Yeah. You see, uh, let me show this message. Sorry, not sorry. 11 says taking a dump means taking a shit and YouTube auto moderation held that comment up. Let me see. I want to turn off that auto moderation. That's extremely gay. 
I don't want my audience not being able to say the shit they want to say. Here, I have comment, comment moderation, none. It's off. So YouTube is being a bitch. There's a level of auto moderation that you cannot turn off. Interesting. That's super gay. So mods, please. If you see someone saying like something innocent, but it has a curse word and YouTube holds the comment off, uh, just click on show. It will appear for you. I'm talking to the mods right now. It will appear for you there. There's two options beside the comment. Uh, Ken Man is already a professional mod. He knows about this. It will appear two options show or hide if it is someone just saying just saying shit just like saying something innocent that has a curse word in there and youtube is holding that coming off just click on show please i don't mind youtube's gay And I apologize to you at home who wants to leave a nice comment who just happens to have the word shit on it and YouTube is censoring you. YouTube is censoring your shit. I apologize on behalf of YouTube's gayness. I apologize on behalf of YouTube for their gayness. Oh shit, that was almost the end. If any of these fucking birds get me here, I will be hit and as I'm hit, I'm gonna jump backwards like that and then I fall to my death and die. I fall to my death and die! That was redundant. I can't wait for an actual viable alternative to YouTube shows up. There are plenty of vi- I shouldn't say... I shouldn't say it like that. There are viable alternatives already, but they're not as successful as YouTube. I think the closest one right now it's Rumble, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I think Rumble is the closest one, closest one of becoming mainstream right now. But they need to get away from the politics stuff, man. There's no way to become mainstream if your brand is connected in any way to politics. And then you might say, hey, but YouTube's connected to politics. They're pretty admittedly left wing. And I agree. But the, the thing with YouTube is that they didn't start that way. They started in a time when nobody fucking cared about politics. And I miss those days. So I, I think run in other, I mean, I'm just a dumb musician, right? From Brazil, out of all places. But in my humble opinion, I think Rumble, in order to grow, it has to distance itself from the politics. And I'm, and I'm not talking about like not having po politics content. It's just like, I'm talking in terms of branding. Who cares, Dan? I know. You're dumb. Just play the game. Okay. 
I will. Tracy Geyer for five, starting a petition for a warm stream 2024. The PPs need a reunion. Oh, you guys enjoyed the, the Worms Armageddon stream? Since then, I got the, the big box version. It's good to know that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we also got a tip on Streamlabs. On the Streamlabs side, circumventing YouTube, which I appreciate. I don't have to pay for YouTube's percentage. Um, do you always swear in English or do you use the language you are speaking in at the time? Says Caroline, Caroline Von Cannon. Interestingly enough, Carolyn, I don't swear in Portuguese. My parents were very strict uh, regarding swearing. I grew up in a in a Methodist house, uh, in a Christian house. I'm still Christian. I'm not. Uh, I don't. But I don't refrain myself from swearing in Portuguese because of relig religious reasons. I respect the people who don't swear. The religious people who don't swear. But m my personal uh, way of seeing God, I, I, I think God has better things to worry about, like other things to worry about than swearing. But I don't swear in Portuguese, not because of religio religious reasons, but just because I, I, I grew used to not swearing in Portuguese. So, and in English, on the other hand, I grew very accustomed of, to, to swearing because basically all the content in English that I would consume had swearing. YouTube videos, shows, so... Yeah, there you go. Ah, Marcia with a good question for 10. What do Brazilians mean when they say monster in reference to a good metal song or performance? I don't get it. So, Marcia, monster, when you say, oh, Giovanni is such a monster on the drums. I'm I'm saying that he's basically a great drummer. Oh, Dan Vasque is such a monster singer. They're saying Dan Vasque is a good singer. It's a very cool expression. Oh, so and so is such a monster on, on, on football. So yeah. <clears throat> Oh man, that was almost the end. No, that was weird. You guys saw that? My whip went through the first candle and hit the second. Whoa, I almost missed, almost missed that jump. Crackhead Frodo's falling from the sky. Next. I just hate this part because any little mistake fucks you up entirely. It takes so long to get through it. I think this is the only part that we're 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 outside in the whole game, well, with the exception of the beginning of the game. But you know what I mean. It's like we're on Dracula's backyard. Looking good. Oh, 
Looking good. Oh. Randy Jenny for five. Would love to hear you talk about your testimony sometime on your faith journey. Uh, it's not. It's not a very interesting story. It's not. It, I didn't have like this one moment that oh, everything changed. I I was very fortunate to to grow up in a loving Christian house with a loving Christian family, and that's it. That's pretty much it. Not very exciting, isn't it? Oh. Oh, it disappeared. You guys see that? Just disappeared. Oh, man. Let's try to bring him here. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> this is the sort of stage that everything can end. I'm starting to memorize certain things, which is obviously helpful. There's another chicken at the end. Chicken pork chop, whatever. I keep saying chicken. There's another pork chop at the end of the stage. Come here. I think this is the... This is probably the longest stage of the whole game. I don't need full health to do it. It's good to have it. But I don't need it. Runner's right, ahead. That second candle over there has the has the boomerang, which is plan B. In case I for some reason get here without the holy water. Then it's the cross, the boomerang cross. It's our second best chance. Fortunately, I don't need it. Look at the game trying to fuck me up. Fucking game. <clears throat> Let's 
see what the chat is saying. Diana for 20 says loving the lives very entertaining thank you I'm glad you think so Mary for 10 says hi Daniel why do you not have a join button for a YouTube channel you mean on my main YouTube channel that's a good question and the answer is I don't know I guess because I don't I don't do a lot a lot of live streams there, that's probably it. Francis gifted 20 Super Vast 3D memberships. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Francis. You're very kind. Look at all those people receiving the mighty whale bones. Thanks to Francis. If you got a membership from, from Francis, make sure. You tell her you appreciate it. All right. Oh, my God. You see what I'm talking about, the randomness of this stage? So random. See, I did exactly the same thing that I have done, that I had done the other time. And now the bat was like one pixel higher than it should. And it hit me. So random. Two hundred and forty one people here. Awesome. What time is it? Hmm. At least the soundtrack is amazing. So you're hearing those songs over and over again. But at least they're awesome. Zero damage. Zero fox. Hmm. Thanks for everything, Daniel. We're amazing and hilarious. A comment that's hard to beat. Thank you so much. Lisa? For 20. How 
many languages do I speak? Oh, I'm trying to learn to speak a, a third one, which is Italian. But yeah. Oh, I had I haven't I hadn't done I haven't done my my daily lesson of Italian today. Duolingo is reminding me right now. Not a lot of people know about that trick that I just did. I can skip a good part of this... of that stage with that. What is this like the the fifth attempt? Francis. I'm a super vascular 3D. At this level, we can suggest games for you to play. I have two suggestions. One is Goose and Ghosts, which I think you will enjoy, and Oddworld Abe's Odyssey. But the main thing is, I want you to have fun. Thank you, Francis. And that's right, that's one of the perks you get a super vascular 3D. And you have very good taste for games. I think I own Goose and Ghosts. If I don't, I think it is on uh, on the Switch thing, Switch Online service. I don't own it for the Super Nintendo, but I own it for the for the Switch Online service. But basically, everyone who has the Switch Online serv service owns it. But I also own Abe's Odyssey for the PC. Those are great picks. What? Cho choose between one of those. Out of those, which is the one you prefer? You don't. You don't need to send me another super chat for that. You can. You can tweet. You can tweet at me. Nostra Dam. No. 
Ostradan. In his full glory. Jump to your death. Thank you. Almost 250 people here. Shout out. Just having a chill Sunday, watching a stream, getting ready to work tomorrow with some good old Castlevania. I respect that. I respect that. I appreciate you chose my stream. Wow. Okay. Main thing there was try not to fall. What? Did you guys see that? I went right past him. I call bullshit. Ever play, play PS2? Yes, I believe I streamed some PS2. I think I streamed a little bit of GTA Vice City. I think it's I think it was one of Giovanni's first edits. Me driving horribly on GTA Vice City. But yeah, I can stream some PS2 as well. Some of my favorite games of all time. Are on PS2, <clears throat> which are the Shadow of the Colossus and the Metal Gear Solid games on the PS2, both of them. I don't know, sometimes it does that. I should make a point to always, when I get to that candle, to whip it from very close because sometimes the item, there's a bug. That the item falls through the floor, and this time, luckily, it stopped on, on, on this lower platform, but sometimes it falls all the way through. So, mental note, always whip that candle from very close. Look at this bullshit! Good news is that I'm getting I, I'm getting really good at that first stage. <clears throat> Dan's getting delirious now. Now, where did you get that idea from?
So I beat uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night last year. And something really cool about the the first stage when you get to Dracula's castle on Castlevania Symphony of the Night, you get to this very castle, this one. And the entry of the castle is like this one. It's pretty much a recreation of this first stage. Which I thought it was ve a very cool fan service of the series. Warriors never quit, that's right. I might quit though. here huh. what about a no hit run is that even possible to do in this game hmm I wouldn't be able to take that shortcut. So how many of you watched the the eclipse the other day? I don't think we got it from Brazil. If we if we got it from Brazil, I totally missed it. I don't care too much about those things anyway. My hurt your eyes. Hey Lisa, thank you for the 999. It's a little dog emoji. Not me, dude. Yeah, I I don't care too much about it. It's like I don't know. Feels like a bunch of tribes people looking at the sky. Ooh. Ooh. Look! Look! Ooh. Pretty! Ooh. This is you. This is you watching the eclipse. Ooh. Pretty! Ooh. My eyes! Ooh, pretty! Look, look! Pretty! Eclipse is a Eclipse is a great band, though. 
Go listen to, the, to that. Great band. Great hard rock band. What about watching the eclipse while listening to eclipse? How many of you guys did that? No one, I bet. Ooh, pretty. I'm just joking, by the way, if you... If you want to watch and be marveled at the natural phenomena, that's pretty cool. Sometimes, sometimes we need to stop and look at the stars. You know? Simple stuff. You know actually let's let's do that right now <laughs> pretty <laughs> written word says peak masculinity exactly <laughs> I'm the master of time. See, I did it this time. I did it right. I knew there's gonna be a bat. Fucking bat. I, I'm glad there, there's a timer in this game, but I'm glad it's very... Oh, oh, oh. I'm glad it's very generous. Oh man, the, the fireballs uh, are so unpredictable. Look, look! Egos! Pretty! No die. Oh no. That was a weird timing. You think I'm funny? Girl warrior? Thank you. I think. Thank you. 
Have you guys ever watched those classic universal horror movies? Like Frankenstein, Dracula, some pretty fascinating stuff. And this game, th this game has a lot of tribute, does a lot of tribute to those classic universal monster movies. Like, you have it all. You have the mummy, you have Dracula, you have Frankenstein. You have all the shit. Hunchbacks. Oh! Oh! Welcome! And there's something eerie too, very, very eerie, very creepy about those movies when you watch them, when you watch them knowing that all of those people that you're seeing there were probably dead, were probably already dead when your mom was born. Think about that. Those people were already dead when your mother was born. You see, there's YouTube being gay. What's up, corn boy? Crackhead Frodo's, that's right. YouTube was censoring the word crackhead. So dumb. I had to click on show. YouTube's gay. Hashtag YouTube is gay. That's right, hashtag YouTube's gay. I looked at the chat and then I looked at the screen and the, the red skeleton was gone. What happened? I'm gonna rewatch that later. For fuck's sake. Are you guys talking about Twilight Zone? I need to watch that show. Everybody recommends it. People say Star Trek got a lot of influence from Twilight Zone. I believe it. Oh, 
Look at that. Good as new. Twilight Zone was before Star Trek, that's right. <clears throat> Tales from the Crypt. Is that a, another show from the time? All right. Okay, so I'll have to pretty much do a perfect Dracula right here. One hit and Dracula kills me. Very hard to defeat Dracula with just one one chance, only being able to to get hit once. I'm gonna leave now in defeat. It's late. I gotta go sleep. I was in the zone, Devin. I was in the zone, but now it's over. 
I might try again soon. Thank you everybody for watching. 200 and 256 people here. Uh, thank you to all the mods. So close, yeah. I shall return. I shall return and I will do it. So thank you guys. Oh, Cheryl, real quick for five, have to leave. Thank you for the great live stream. Hey, we're just ending, so I'm leaving too. Bye guys, have a good 